Hey guys, it's Lizbeth from Lizbeth Books, and today I'm going to do the Confidential Bookshelf Tag. So this one has really fun questions, and I'm really excited to get into it. So number one is, what is the oldest book on your bookshelf? So I'm not really sure, because I think I have a few books that are like around the same time, and I wasn't sure if it was like the oldest like published, or like, I don't know, because it says book you bought the longest time ago, so I'm gonna just go with this one, but I'm not really sure if it's the right one, but it's The Last of the Really Great Wing Doodles by Julie Andrews Edward. Um, I had this, I've had this for a really long time, I got this in like elementary school, and it's pretty beat up, so you can tell I've had it for a while, and I'm not sure if this is like my oldest one, I know it's not my oldest one in like all of my books, but in my like town now and the books I own. This is probably my oldest book and it's a really good one. Number two is what is your latest book purchase? So I just did a pretty big October November book haul and I'll link it below so you guys can watch it if you haven't checked it out. But the last two books I held up were they're by Ellen Blair Fowler and there's Where Beauty Lies and Beneath the Glitter. So I think this one's first. But they were the last two ones I held up in the book haul, so I guess they are the last purchase, even though they're all kind of the last purchase, but you know. Three is, what is the most expensive book on your bookshelf? So this has to, I have to pick a set for this one, and it is my Sailor Moon box set I just got. This was about 40 something dollars for six mangas, which is a good deal because one manga is like ten dollars and you get six and it was like forty so I'm saved like twenty bucks, you know. So these are really pretty and I think it was worth the money and I just like them. Number four is what is the most inexpensive book on your bookshelf? Not free or a gift. And I was like sweet, I have free books and then I read that and I was like oh. So again this probably isn't like the only one, but I'm just gonna go with it, and it's the uh, Chameleon War Chartreuse by Bruce Hale. And I got it at my local used bookstore, and it says $2.99 if you can read that, which you probably can't. But I'm pretty sure I only paid a few cents for it because my store does like trade credit, so it actually wasn't $2.99, it was like 50 cents or something like that. So, pretty cheap. And yeah! Next! Number five, what is a book you've wasted money on? Recently, I'm going to have to go with Of Poseidon by Anna Banks. I read this last month and it's in my wrap up and I just did not like it. It was not a good book and it was only like $10, but I felt like it was a waste of $10. It was $10 I could have got a better book, so I'm going to go with this one. Number six is... What is the prettiest book on your bookshelf? And I'm going to have to go with My Very Pretty Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. And this is like flower puffin, or yeah, puffin edition. And it's so pretty. And I love it. And I want to collect all of them. And like even the inside's pretty. And I've never read this. But I'm excited to because it's beautiful and I love it. Yay! Number seven, what is the ugliest book on your bookshelf? I'm going to go with Catalyst by Laurie Hells Anderson because uh, it's just like this orange and the blue, I don't know, and it's got this eye and I've just never liked this cover. I'm, I don't know, I've read this book like 500 times. It's very good, but I don't like orange and I don't like the eyeball and I just think it's really ugly. I, it just does not appeal to me. But the story's good, so see, don't judge a book by its cover. But I just did. Anyway, number eight. What is the shortest book on your bookshelf? I'm going to go with A Taste of Blackberries, a novel by Doris Buchan Smith. So, so sad. It is so sad. I read this in, like, second grade. I don't know why. Whoever let me read this in second grade, let me read this because it's the saddest story of my life. And I just recently read this like in a coffee shop, which was a bad idea because I was bawling like I was in second grade. And yeah, we planned to have a fun, we planned to have fun all summer. Well, they didn't. 
But yes, it's really short, but it's really good, and you should read it, and you will cry. Uh-huh. Number nine. What is the longest book on your bookshelf? I have to go with A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. It is like 800 and something pages, and it's real big, and yeah. Started this book in August. Yeah. Gotta keep reading it. Anyway, number 10. What are you currently reading? I had like a few books started, but this one was closest to me, so I will show you. I'm reading Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour, and I'm not very far into it. I am 38 pages into it, and look at my little bookmark, it's Charizard. Da -da -da. Is that his name? Charmander? Charmander? Charizard? Charmander? No, it's not Charizard. Wait, Charmander? Charizard. Who are you? Charmander? Charmander. Ah! Yeah, isn't he cute? He's pretty cute. And, um, it's okay so far. I mean, I'm not very interested. But it's the very beginning, so it should get better. But, yeah, the cover's really pretty. She's got a bun. Anywho! Number 11. What book are you hoping to read next? I want to read Hollow City. I read it from the library and I want to go back to the library and return all of my books and this is the last one I need to read. So I need to read it so I can go back to the library and get more books. It's a vicious cycle. Number 12. What underhyped on your bookshelf book do you love? That doesn't make sense. I love Air Parent by Vivian Van de Veld. And I don't know if it's overhyped or underhyped, but I mean, no one really talks about it that I know of. And I, like, randomly read this in, like, seventh grade, and it's been a favorite since then. So I'm going to go with it's underhyped, and um, you should read it, even if it is overhyped. But whatever, it's really, really, really good, and read it. Yay. Number 13. What overhyped book on your bookshelf do you love? I love Divergent. It's true. By Veronica Roth. And I beat it up. Look how much I loved it. It died. But this one's so good and one choice can transform you. Yeah. And I really, really, really liked it. Um, yeah. I need a better version of it now because it's all beat up and it makes me sad. But I mean the other two weren't that good and they're pretty overhyped. But I think this one was actually really good and I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I kind of want to reread it. It's been a long time. So yeah. Number 14, what are, your, what are your current top three favorite books? So I'm going to go with recently, like the last month or so. These are three books that have stood out to me that I really liked. So I really liked The Magician, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel, and this is the second book in the Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel series by Michael Scott. And it was really enjoyable. I talked about it in my wrap-up, but it's kind of hard to talk about because it's a series. So I don't want to spoil it. But I really, really want to continue with the series. And I really like this one. Then, this past month, I've read Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, And I loved it. It was so, so, so good. And I'll talk about it in my November wrap-up. And I also read My Life Undecided by Jessica Brody. And this one was also unexpectedly, like, really good. And I liked it. And I'll talk about it more. But yeah guys, that was the Confidential Bookshelf Tag, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.